So look, even though Lester's been struggling, I think it's pretty safe to say, I don't think any of us are worried about John Lester if he's healthy, right? But, but Sweeney Dog, who else are we trusting in the playoffs? So if he goes game one or whoever it is, we're all confident in that. How about game two or game three? Who else are you trusting for the Cubs after John? I think it really happens where, where you're pitching is, is this staff because it's not a dominating Cole Hamels that you went out and acquired, but he also he has the resume. Big game pitcher. I think John Lester fits into that category as well. It, has he pitched great in a Cubs uniform? No, not mm -hmm. really. It's not the finish that you typically have on that changeup, and it really has a lot to do with his command. It wavers at times. So it, where is you, Darvish? Yeah. I, I think that's where you get balance in this rotation, where you can get a guy that has the stuff. He, he struggled last year in the playoffs, but 40 innings he's pitched for the Cubs, and we haven't heard his name in a long time. So where do they go? It has to be Cole Hamels because of his resume. Yeah, Cole Hamels has to get to the lineup at least twice, get that ball to the fifth or sixth inning. But I also want to see Hendricks go deep in ball games as well. He's five and six his last 15 starts with a high four ERA. He's a much better pitcher than that. So he needs to get his command and his trust of his secondary pitches. But he needs to be the guy, if you Darvish can't show up, to be that slotted in that uh, third spot and give a right-handed look. Yeah, and with, with all of the platoon that goes on, even with the playoff teams, you want Hendricks to slot in between Cole Hamels and, and Lester right. because of that lefty righty. Let me ask you about Darvis. Okay, so he's been a non factor. He's been hurt basically the entire year. He's on flat ground or wherever he is right now, where everybody <laughs> yeah. else is, which means nothing. Mm -hmm. At some point, this becomes problematic. The minor league season is going to end in a couple right. of weeks. So he can't go out on a rehab assignment. So when does it become to the point where, hey, He's not going to be able to start. He's not going to get stretched out to start. What is that point that he really has to be back? Otherwise, he's out of the bullpen, if anything. Yeah, I mean, it's right about now. I mean, you only have about 40, 45 games left in the season. The minor league season is going to end much sooner than that. Mm -hmm. So who are you going to get to be able to simulate baseball games? You're going to have to use some of your bench guys that have to play in the game, even if he gets uh, ready early enough. But I, I don't see him being able to stretch out and get up and down enough, you know what I mean, to, to, to simulate the reps that he needs to at least go five or six innings in a postseason ball game. So it's very concerning, concerning for me. And day by day, he's losing out on valuable time just waiting. I think anyone that's been around you, Darvish, says that he likes routine. And why not? If you're a starting pitcher, yeah. you like that routine. So you can't just throw him in the bullpen. So they're going to have to max out that opportunity. Now, that being said, he was on a rehab assignment before. They had to bring him back right. off it. So uh, there's some uncertainty there that you're wondering was this really the right sign for the Chicago Cubs? Because it might have limited them at the trading deadline, and they didn't go out there, and it's hard to acquire starting Will rotation. Will you, Darvish, pitch for the Cubs in the postseason, yes or no? I say he doesn't. I can't yeah. rely on him for the Chicago Cubs. That's amazing. It, That's it amazing. really is. That's They're going to have to pay some minor league guys to stay just so they can simulate some games every couple of days. But once the minor league season runs out, what are you going to do? Send them all the way down to extended spring training? Or, you know, and then try to get them acclimated for postseason baseball? That's not going to happen. I think the point is, is he's still got time to come back, but mm -hmm. they gave this man all that money to be their number two. And now we don't even know if he's going to be okay for that. It's like, it's, time is ticking on Darvish. I think is. they need him. I think they need him, that's for sure. We'll see if they can get him there.